Hello again, this is Bob Weir with the Cross Timbers Gazette, and today's guest is Charlotte Wilcox, the mayor of Highland Village. Uh, mayor Wilcox has presided over the city since 2014 and is currently running for re-election. Her opponent, Jim Archibald, has also been invited for an interview. Thank you for being here, Madam Mayor. Absolutely. Thanks for the invitation. If you would please give voters some background information such as uh, education, occupation, and so forth. Okay. Bob, I was born on March 2nd, 1960, Texas Independence Day in Dallas, Texas. I'm a native Texan. I uh, graduated from high school in 1978, Bowie High School in Bowie, Texas, and uh, married my husband in 1979. Went to Tarrant County Junior College um, because I thought dental hygiene was my, uh, my career, changed my mind. Um, raised a family, two children, two perfect grandchildren, a great son-in-law. Uh, my husband was born and raised in Louisville, so we have been in this area since we were married. I moved him to Highland Village in 1995. I, um, 1999, got my real estate license, and I've been selling real estate since then, and still do for Remax Cross Country. And uh, you've been the mayor for a couple of years. What do you consider the most important issues facing Highland Village in 2016? Well, you know, I like to look at them as challenges and not issues and, and opportunities. So um, I think anybody that sits down with you is going to realize that what we're facing now is maintenance mode. We are moved past our growth period into maintenance mode. And so to continue to be able to offer the services that Highland Village um, expects and, and that we have given um, and maintain our tax rate of 0.56963, we have to be very, very conservative. and. Um, and make sure that um, we're not overtaxing our uh, our people. We get a majority of our taxes and our, our revenue from our property tax. That's where the majority of it comes from. So almost at build out is going to be a, a little bit of a challenge, but we're gonna look at it as an opportunity. And I suppose you derive a lot of taxes from the business uh, Absolutely. community. <clears throat> the uh, shops at uh, Highland Village certainly right. must uh, come That's up with a lot of taxes. A lot. Some, yes. I mean, I don't know what a lot is. <laughs> a beautiful, that's a beautiful uh, uh, shopping area, too. Thank you. We love it. Uh, now, just for some general information, what is the population of Highland Village? You know, it's between <coughs> fifteen and 16,000. And, yeah. uh, and you already mentioned something about build-out. Um, is it completely build out or built out, or is there some uh, property still being developed? You know, we are, we are almost at build-out. We have um, a new subdivision, Wichita um, Estates, that's going in and have 39 lots off of Highland Village Road in Selmire. And then we have four other properties that are 25 to 35, 40 acres um, located throughout the city that could possibly be built on. There, there's nothing on them now. Um, one, of course, is on 35, right off of uh, Highland Village Road in 35, um, that area over there. Uh, is already has an overlay, a transit orient development overlay on it. So um, we'll be looking at something because that's prime real estate. Uh, another location is the uh, property behind my office, Remax Cross Country, and the the water tower, water tank. It's mm. not uh, elevated, right. but um, and then there's two properties, uh, the Vaughn property, what we call the Vaughn property off of Chin Chapel Road, and then um, the Bish Bishop property off of 2499. So those are 30 acres, you know, anywhere from 25 to 35, 40 acres, each one. So there's like four different areas throughout the city. But then after that, we're... And after that, you're totally... We have 50 out. platted lot, <clears throat> lots right now in Highland Village. They're already platted. 39 of those will be in Wichita Forest. So there's just a few other lots throughout the city. <clears throat> and are most of the, uh, the homes on uh, like acre properties or two acre properties, something like that? No. No, we don't have... We have smaller lots. Oh, you um, have some small lots right. too. Okay. Yeah. Um, you already mentioned the tax rate in Highland Village, uh, and uh, and where most of the taxes come from. Uh, has the tax rate been steady? It has for 15 years, there and in go. fact, we we've, we've maintained 0.56963 for the last 15 years. And the year that um, that we changed it, it went down. It was not a raise, so. Um, that's always a good sign. A, yeah, <laughs> we have sustained that, and that's that's our goal. That's council's goal. Everybody likes that. Everybody likes to hear that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, how about um, the uh, police department? Uh, do you know about, let's say, 
approximately how many police officers work for the city? Well, that's a trick question. I know we have 153 employees in Highland Village, and I believe, Bob, it's 22, um, 22. police, 22 police in officers. the police officers, and of course, they definitely contribute to our safest city in Highland, uh, in Texas. That's uh, what I was going to ask you next, the crime rate. I understand it is very safe. We are. We are. Yeah. We have. We are known for a uh, quality community of choice, and a lot of that is because of our police department and because we are the safest city in Texas. We believe in community policing. So the first, one of the first person people that you're going to meet when you come to Highland Village is going to be your officer, area of uh, officer, and he'll knock on your door and introduce himself or herself and... If you leave your garage door up, they're going to tell you to put it down. That's wonderful. Uh, and uh, uh, we have something similar to that in Flower Mound. And I, I think community policing is, is terrific. I mean, that's that's the way it should be. Right. You have Absolutely. to have the, the police uh, in uh, contact with the, uh, the residents. Um, how about the type of campaigning you're going to be doing? Are you doing a door-to-door -door, um, mailings and stuff like that? You know, the, I, yes, to answer that, yes. I, back to basics. Um, you know, I I believe in relationships. I sell real estate, and that's what, what real estate is all about, is a relationship, and that's what being the mayor is and campaigning. So it'll be door-to-door -door handshakes, all phone the calls, above. Yeah. all the above. That's great. Do you, and how about a campaign website? Do you have one? You know, I don't have a website. I have a Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, and then I have a um, re-elect mayor, Charlotte Wilcox, Facebook page. I think the legal the, the right one is www.facebook slash mayor underscore wilcox oh i'll have that in the written yeah, portion of this absolutely well is there anything else that you'd like to say about your campaign no i um you know i love highland village that, people ask me all the time why do you do this and um simply put i love highland village i love everything that highland village has to offer safest community the trails 23 miles of concrete trails that will connect our east side to our west side, um, the sense of community, our festivals, our outdoor festivals, um, the uh, the fact that we have great relationships with LISD, best school district in Texas in my opinion, and the the surrounding cities, Flower Mound for example, Louisville, Copper Canyon. We we I strive um, as one of seven, and I want that to be perfectly clear. Um, the mayor is one of seven, and I do get to vote, but I strive for for great uh, relationships. Yeah, that's right. In Highland Village, the mayor gets a vote. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure and why uh, anybody else would want to be the mayor if they didn't get the vote. <laughs> and, and in Flower Mound, the mayor doesn't get a vote except for the tie. Right. Uh, well, uh, I think we've covered a few topics here, and uh, I want to thank you, Mayor Wilcox, Absolutely. for being here, and great luck in the campaign. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. And thank you for watching.